Thank you, Chair. Distinguished colleagues, it is an honour to be here with you at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference in Bucharest. I thank our Romanian hosts for showing us, showing us such warm hospitality. I'd also like to express Australia's elation at the election of Zdorin Bogdan Martin, an historic day, and we pledge our support to your leadership. We know that telecommunications and information communication technologies can be incredibly empowering, supporting economic prosperity, well-being, health, education and social inclusion. Yet, in recent times, our world has faced some of the most unprecedented and significant global challenges and disruptions. We commend the ITU's work in the response to COVID-19. We also commend the ITU's work to support the recovery of telecommunication infrastructure in Ukraine. And Australia is steadfast in our support of Ukraine. We firmly believe the ITU's digital development objectives should prioritise providing those who remain unconnected with accessible, affordable and resilient connectivity. And now is the time for action. Australia is proud of its long-standing involvement and heritage with the ITU, working in partnership to deliver practical digital capacity building and development projects, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region. These projects make a real and tangible difference. Australia's development projects address issues such as the development of emergency communication response plans, strengthening digital skills and cybersecurity capabilities, the safe use of online services and affordable access to ICTs. We are particularly proud to support the ITU's Smart Island and Smart Village initiatives in the Pacific activities that will improve access to key digital services such as health and education. And we, are, and we are acutely aware of the importance of the ITU's presence in the Pacific region. Reflecting on Australia's own situation, ours is a vast country with many remote and isolated communities. Our reality means that the challenge to connect the unconnected, in particularly our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities is front of mind for the Australian Government. By sharing our experience building telecommunications capacity within the international community, we can help pave the way for better communications for rural, regional and remote populations globally. Australia has a strong record of supporting good governance in the ITU and we will continue to promote accountability transparency, inclusion in the work of the union. We are committed to bridging the gender divide, amplifying the voices of women in ICT decision-making processes, and ensuring that everyone can take advantage of the benefits of the digital transformation. As a top 10 financial contributor to the ITU, we place strong emphasis on efficient financial management and administrative processes across union activities. Accountable, efficient use of resources assists to maximise funds available for capacity building activities and improving access to telecommunications. Australia is committed to continuing its long-standing relationship with the ITU and working together in the spirit of cooperation and collaboration towards achieving universal, meaningful connectivity. And we hope we can account on your support for re-election to the ITU Council. Thank you.